I feel like it's important to share this journey with other women in particular, simply because, like I said, I don't know what happened to the world, but everybody care about what everybody got to say and what they think. And I honestly just feel like you shouldn't. Hey y'all, this is Mimi. I'm here at Ghost Plastic Surgery. I'm about to go on my surgery journey. Y'all come with me to do my pre-op for Ghost Plastic Surgery. All right, y'all, I'm finally set and ready to go for Monday at two o'clock again. Be there at two o'clock, beat me there, and get ready for this new body. Fourteenth, I'm getting my Lipo 360. Double BBL. I done got kind of nervous, you know. I don't know if it's because I've been watching the videos and I'm getting freaked out, but I'm ready. I'm ready to get it done. I'm ready to get it over with and I'm ready to be snatched again. This particular period will be my second round of uh, lipo and a BBL. I just got the COVID test done. Um, we did all my vitals and everything. Everything's looking good. They're getting me prepped up. For surgery on Monday. I think my surgery is at two o'clock. So this is the last time y'all gonna see me until this new body. Y'all say goodbye to this, that. I'm about to be like that. We're gonna push these out and make them like that. And we're gonna make that fat, okay? I originally got my body done the first time simply because I had two kids already. And I mean, I'm small, I'm petite, but certain areas I still kind of wanted to get rid of and I wanted that little Coke bottle shape. So as far as my second round, I did not do what I was supposed to do. I did not stand my fire the way I was supposed to. Um, and I kind of was just eating crazy, doing whatever I wanted to do, drinking, turning up, all that. So this go round, I'm gonna make sure I do the right thing. I wear my faja for the duration that I'm supposed to, as well as eat healthy, eat right, drink plenty of water to let the fluids flush out and everything. But I'm really excited simply because I already experienced it the first go around, so now I know what to do this time. Um, and again, I'm getting Lipo 360 and WBBL. I'm excited, like I said, I kinda got, I, I know what to expect now, so it's gonna be easier. And it was not done under local anesthesia last time. I actually got put to sleep so that process is completely different from now, but I am excited about the fact that I will be able to be up because I get to basically watch what's going on. And I mean, from my, from my knowledge, from what I've heard, it's a completely different toll on your body. Like it's not as, it doesn't do the same damage as it does when you go to sleep. So I'm excited, I'm ready to get it over with. I done gained all this weight, I'm ready to be back snatched. <laughs> So as far as me gaining weight and all that, um, I did not intentionally do that. More so in my stomach area, the weight came back like instantly, like three months, I started seeing a difference. I was like, okay, hold on, let me slow down. But it's easy to take out, but it's easy to come right back too. So you gotta be very mindful of the way you eat and what you're doing and standing in your faja the way you're supposed to. Because I think I only wore my faja for like three weeks three weeks or four weeks. And then even still, that wasn't at a, it wasn't for as long as I should have been wearing them. It was more so for like a couple hours at a time. So I do recommend wearing your faja. It's gonna keep you nice snatched and petite, especially if you're gonna eat crazy. You wanna wear something that actually compress your fat or whatever else. I didn't do none of that. So eat right and wear your faja is the two things that I recommend. And the two things that I'm gonna do different this go round. It's about to be two years since I had my first round. So not too long, um, but it's crazy because I was actually ready to get my body done six months ago. <laughs> Again, I already had my mind made up. Like, I gotta go back. So with me having such a large following, that don't really bother me. Uh, I mean, we grown. And I think right now, females getting their bodies done, it's kind of the wave. Like for different reasons. Some people do it for the aesthetics. Some people do it for personal reasons. Like I said, I had two kids. And even though I am little, it was certain areas on my body that I'm like, nah, I wanna go back to 
I still vision me when I was like 20 years old and I had a flat stomach. So it's like, I need that back. So that was my reason in getting my body done. And I honestly don't really care about what nobody think in regards to that. Like simply because I feel like every woman is their own woman. Whether you confident enough to walk around saying that you got your body done or you not either or, either or to each his own. I am, can't nobody body shame me, can't nobody make me feel no type of way because I mean, it's still my fat, it's just getting put somewhere else. If we gonna be realistic, I ain't getting nothing added, you know what I'm saying? So I'm very confident with getting my body done. I recommend any other woman that choose to get their body done to be very confident in their decision as well and don't let nobody make them feel otherwise. I don't know, I'm ready. I think I'm just excited for that part more so, like to just get it over with and get back to regular life. You know, they, they always say you, you don't really like succeed or prevail until you move outside your hometown. So that's why I chose to go here. And I mean, honestly, I think everybody in their mama feel like Atlanta is the black Hollywood. I feel like everybody feel like your life could change within a matter of time being in Atlanta. So I came down here to plant, my, plant some seeds and watch my harvest grow. I will see y'all at surgery Monday, 2 o'clock. Beat me there.